All right, what's going on, Tycoons? Um, for today, we're going to be looking at ticker symbol uh, CRWD, that's CrowdStrike. All right, um, so looking here at the weekly chart, okay, I think we have a nice bull flag going on. All right, as you can see here from the COVID crash up, we've held this nice trend line very well, okay? And uh, this is going to be our breakout level, 266.44. So once we're above there and we can stay above there, we're in breakout territory. And we can head up to uh, 307.84 and then 351.07 would be our bullish price target. OK, and uh, like our base support level for this is going to be 181.24. OK, um, so that's where we want to see the stock. If it does break this trend line here, OK, um, like, the, you know, this uh, this purple trend line right here that it's that it's had since the start of COVID uh, recovery, then you know we could see it fall down to below to this base support level and i would like to see it hold support there okay consolidate and then um you know and then we can try to um break out again and then head back up to the bullish price target um so for now that's what i'm looking at that's the main things okay um we'll look here on the daily chart um and as you can see um it's mostly been trading in between this base support and the breakout level for most of the year, for majority of this year, uh, you know, so uh, we have gone above it a couple times and we did start the year off below it and uh, dip below it a couple times, but only momentarily and uh, above this uh, breakout level, you know, it's only been able to break out there for, um, you know, a few weeks at a time. Um, we currently, though, have a bullish gap up to fill. OK, uh, so I like this bullish gap up to fill. Um, let me go ahead and try to fix this drawing a little bit. All right. There we go. Sorry about that. So uh, previously, last time I covered crowd uh, CRWD, I said, you know, look for this bounce zone. All right. Um, you know, if this thing was to drop with this, I, I covered it around when it was making all time highs. Um, and I was saying, you know, look, this thing could pull back, okay, but look for it to bounce off of this purple trend line, and it bounced there beautifully, okay. Um, so that I think that that's a good sign. We could see this gap fill, okay, um, especially if there's like some bullish sentiment heading into their earnings. However, um, it did gap down recently, okay, and it could fall lower. So if we break this purple trend line right here, I think we could go to 242. And below 242, I think we have support at 225. And below 225, I think we have support at 200. Um, you know, and then with the base support being right there at 181. So, um, you know, there's two ways you can play. You can you can look out for puts. You can look for puts. If we break this trend line here, uh, we could head down to these support levels. All right. Or if you want to do calls and you want to try to play this gap fill up here um look for if any dips okay uh you want it to stay above this trend line all right as long as we can stay above this trend line then we're bullish and eventually we will get the gap fill okay um all right so thank you guys for watching and hopefully this makes sense to everyone and uh just keep an eye out for earnings okay earnings has been very very volatile lately um so we could see this thing rally massively and hit our bullish price target, or we could see this thing tank down to our base support or lower even. So um, just keep in mind for that. Keep on the lookout and, uh, you know, have a game plan for either or for, uh, for you know, if things go to plan or if things don't go to plan. All right. Have your entries and exits planned for both sides. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.